Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. I treat Especial an idea brilliant in its conception. However, we will see if the embodiment meets the expectation. A hot glue gun cordless. A little gatekeeping here beyond the usual. We should all be cognizant of how useful these things are for quick and dirty prototyping. Here we got the TP toaster. Super old, powerful. Uh, you leave this plugged in, chances are your house is going to be burnt right down to a cinder. And the other thing is, it's a pain in the arse because you got to plug it in. Then if you're in the wife's sewing room, you move out to the shop. Yeah, no, yeah. This mitigates all the, well, hopefully mitigates all of those problems. If and she chooches proper, this thing is a game changer. Now here we got the Cryobi brand. It comes factory that built-in theft deterrent a horrific color kind of a diaper poop green also they got to get you somehow you got to buy all the baterias separate and the charger doesn't come with a battery you can't eat and so forth that's how they get you you get in you you choose a color and then you got to go with it because well I already got the batteries and yes while I did have batteries for this when I did the cordless uh, nail brad nailer I gave that away inclusive of the batteries and charge air so such is life I never who, who'd have thought I'd ever review another uh, Ryobi tool Not so tough now, fucker. Okay, we're charging up the batteria right off the hop here. It's got that proprietary Cryobi feel. It <laughs> feels like a plastic gearbox. Just horrific, horrifically terrible plastic feel to her. Uh, quite sticky on the butylene. Kind of got a, yeah, definitely has a Decepticon transformer look to her. Uh, we are in like sin. Holy oh, old fuck. Look at that. Trying to get my uh, gay frogs alien abducted. So a couple of surprises in the material and the construction. Very sturdy, rigid, boxed. This is extremely rigid. Lots of details here. This gets expensive, of course. And they are using glass fiber reinforced PA66. That's like a nylon, but a different style of nylon. The 6.6 six is a little bit more expensive material than just the 6. Kind of an extra number, obviously. But they've gone overboard on the, the little boy pew, pew, rifle gun, uh, space gun type deal, transformer styling, because it doesn't feel good in the hand. It's too, it's too clunky. There's no roundness to anything. So kind of a fail on that, we get, you know, ribbed for her pleasure and so forth. It's getting a little out of control, frankly, but the material, surprisingly skookum. Here's a clue why they would splurge on that more expensive material. <laughs> clue, they didn't splurge, they needed it on account of this hot end here being in here, PA66, better at, better at temperature. And we just got this in, we'll show you how this works, of course, the heat of the meat is directly proportional to the angle of the dangle and that is why their material spec had to be so high. So what we have is a little light durometer nitrile rubber boot here, little seal, single lip seal, and as you can see, slides real easy this way, doesn't slide easy that way, okay? Just by the orientation of the lip. If you ever need to know which way a seal goes, which way the seal you know the orientation of the seal if you take something apart you got to consider what you're trying to keep in that what it's got to keep in will dictate which way that lip seal is so if your if your seals are this way it's going to be trying to keep in whatever is on this side of the material if your seals are this way it's going to be trying to keep in or keep out keep out the ingress of dust uh, over on this side that's a very simple way of figuring out the orientation that a seal should be. So what we want to do is we want this to slide in easy and we want it to stick. We want it to have some stiction in the other direction so that it grabs the dingus proper. So this is an interesting mechanism. 
and there's a toothed gear here while well, there's a toothed jaw and as we pull up on this this little guy pivots and engages on that pulls it forward then when we let go this jaw disengages the friction of the seal prevents it from moving backwards and the mechanism feeds cute little mechanism there that is uh, the same in all hot glue guns I would take this off it doesn't have any markings but dollars to dog knots that would be the PA66 as well on account of the high temperature we'll get in to this itty bitty titty board this has got to be just the battery voltage cut off so that we don't destroy our lithium because it is very susceptible to over voltage and under voltage getting drawn too far down damages the cell Here's the contact block here, just uh, appears to be nickel plated, very thick contacts though, that's kind of nice to see, positive negative, and in a pretty sturdy encasement there, hand soldered and wired, we'll see the arrangement momentarily. Normally we get into the brains of the operation, but here this isn't much of a brain. So we're going to see what makes this thing go. And this is the hot end, of course. This would have a, a an element, a resistive heating element, PCT, which is a positive temperature coefficient heating element, probably ceramic. What happens is as this comes up to temperature, the resistance increases. So it's self-regulating. And you buy these for a certain temperature, you give it the, uh, the voltage and it just heats up to whatever that temperature is now so there's no control really all that necessary it's self-regulating here's the brain board dumb as a post nothing going on really this is a MOSFET it's not a brain box we got a little diode the rest are just passive components resistors and capacitors and there's a Q so that's a MOSFET as well what appears to be happening is this this MOSFET here's the uh, here's the gate the drain and the source we take battery voltage here this guy this little guy turns it on and then we take uh, current it's just making and breaking the current but instead of a nice dumb switch that you can easily troubleshoot you know the thing let the smoke out now of course we have a printed circuit board so it's just one of those things you know and there's really there's nothing going on here we got some test points battery in battery out we got a little diode here i guess for snubbing inductive kickback when we when we close this or we open this up and the you know the pixies are dancing around there they kind of get angry but as yeah nothing on the back side just one little via and a and and a little jumper over from from here to i think to one of these uh, drain resistors for the gates here and paralleled with the hot end is actually a little LED indicator. Now the hot end itself, we got silicon kearney. Of course, this is a thermoset plastic. It doesn't, you can't melt it. It'll burn before it melts. A very high temperature as well, as silicone does. And here we have another thermoset, more rigid one. Some sort of epoxy appears to be brass uh, heating end nozzle polyamide tape this of course doesn't burn either so it's and it's very high dielectric strength so that's why it's on there and then on here is another element to keep this from from coming out and it as well is silicon a little spring on there to keep it die cast oh looks like zinc to me die cast zinc We'll have a peek here. Now die cast aluminum, die cast aluminum part there. So not much to it really. I mean the, the brains of the operation is this guy and it's dumb as a post. So battery's all charged. We're gonna test this out, see much how how much power she puts out. I apologize for all that noise. The wife got real excited. She got a package from Amazon there, asked me to leave her alone for a little bit. It's uh Kind of disconcerting when the lights dim. There we go, we got 20 volts and it's drawn 3 amps. 
drawn much more it's coming up 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 five amps so we're looking at a hundred watt heater here and then the amperage we're dropping because of this PCT this uh, positive thermal coefficient the resistance of this is going up it's got the same voltage that means that the the amperage needs to go down so we're, we're dropping in power here as it comes up to temp so 100 watt heater not tea bag at all okay let's get her back together appears to be fur kink many a slip oh it's getting smelly there probably burning the back of my my clamp on so let's uh, oh maybe <laughs> the the long suffering cutting mat oh a heady bouquet that springs to mind wattage is one thing but ultimate temperature is another thing because we want to know if we can only do ethylene vinyl acetate this stuff uh, this is only usable up to maybe like 50 degrees C there are a whole bunch of other glue sticks you can get industrial stuff but totally different well I mean how many flavors of Kool-Aid are there that's essentially what you're looking at but these ones of course are the cheapest ones with a, a half decent glass transition temperature so they don't get brittle in the cold that begs a question actually we should check to see at what temperature this gets brittle but anyway I want to see what the ultimate what the ultimate temperature this rises to now I put some capped on tape on there in order to mitigate the uh, emissivity hopefully that works we're pretty dead nuts on there ah, anyway that's as scientitious as we need to be anyway well that's quite a bit hotter than I thought it would be 150 we're showing but we can't yeah you can't rely on that because it's just all over the place we're gonna need a, a thermal couple these are these flea bay ones they're like seven bucks I think I bought three of them and I should have bought 30 of them they're they come in so handy so very handy we're at 170 which is quite a bit hotter than I would have expected holy just a <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs, there'll be <laughs> teeth and fillings everywhere. So we're going to see with this 24 rated, 24 watt hour batteria, 24 watt hour batteria, that should be at 100 watts, that should be a quarter of an hour. Should run for a quarter of an hour. So I think 20 minutes, well what's a quarter of an hour? No, 15 minutes. So I think probably 10 minutes is, is a safe bet for this to run on the small battery. We are going to see how much chooch for your chotch. We got these, and these are the big sticks, mind. These are the big construction adhesive sticks. We're going to see how much we can actually do in on that small battery. We'll see. Uh, what's the sheet of paper? A couple grams. If you're ready. There we go. 1.2 grams. Now we're going to fire this up. And see how much we get that heated up really quick in a matter of a minute it was already melting glue so the glue exiting the hot end is coming out at 135 degrees science not too bad nice and goopy right we're at over 11 minutes and still just a given her we were at 16 and a half minutes here and uh, so this is starting to be like work the the hands aren't aren't used to needing to pump for for that long to get the schmoo out uh i got i wear large gloves big 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 feet big shoes type deal i don't have huge hands i got pretty normal hands they are beautifully proportioned however <laughs> and uh if you're uh if you got smaller hands like maybe you're um well i i wouldn't assume your gender but you know maybe you got smaller hands and this is not the gun for you if you're gonna do any serious pumping because it's too big it kind of it hurts a little bit it's this is work this is work man so maybe wait for another version that's got a little bit smaller pistol grip instead of the uh, 1911 versus Ruger style it's got the reverse Ruger it's bizarre I guess maybe because 
Well, I don't know, just so it flows off. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Incredible. I never would have believed it. I'm, I'm afraid I don't want to say it. And I'm afraid I have no choice. I'm out of glue, man. We're at 20, 22 minutes, 21 minutes and a bit out of glue. I'm afraid I have to say it. This fucking thing, it's awesome. Skookum Chucha right here. Who'd have thunk it? Glue gun on the go. No cords. Look at this. Do the old Borat routine. No cords. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Fuck yeah. That's nice when you get a when you get a good surprise for once. Now uh, these are 14 grams of sticks, so that's 10 sticks or 11, about 10 and a half sticks in 22 minutes. Incredible! I never would have guessed that this would actually be a usable, useful tool. I don't see anything that's gonna break right off the hop. Nothing so chintzy that it makes us cringe. You know what? This thing, ah, uh, <laughs> this thing is. Yeah, cordless glue gun. How useful is that going to be for fabric cobbling and, and you know, bedazzling things? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in advice. Holy shit, just a given her. You got her in liquefy mode. <laughs> uh, that's a new form of birth control, apparently. Okay, so this boss stick here. It's uh, rated at 160 watts. It's actually drawn right off the hop here, 142 watts. So that extra little bit makes a big difference in the in the amount of time spent, the dwell time. But still, for a cordless, I think that's pretty damn good at 100 watts.